what they call bagasse for over 200 years and they burn it to run their sugarcane plant. We on the other hand are like a sawmill that separates the fiber from the sucrose that's inside and therefore the fiber is now capable of making alternatives like pulp and paper, energy sources by burning it and offering electricity to towns or municipalities and also the flour grain top that can make either bread, animal feed or cereal. These are very valuable byproducts that make the... Again, we don't take these fancy claims lying down. We go deep recon into the otherwise not necessarily spellbinding world of animal feed, wood chips, building materials, and paper making. But they have all just hit center stage because the second largest cause of global warming is deforestation. So much so that China has outlawed the cutting of trees, period. Believe it or not, these sorghum production byproducts can make a critical difference in all these areas and help save the atmosphere from the ground up. The first and possibly most impressive byproduct is building materials. As you just heard, the actual stock of the sweet sorghum, as if it doesn't do enough, can be split instead of crushed, and the fiber strands can be woven to make not just chipboard, but a totally organic wood substitute that could replace plywood for building houses anywhere in the world. And in less than one-tenth of the time, it would take to regrow the trees, which could now be allowed to grow back, look great, and absorb the CO2 that's still around before the last polar bears drift down to China to march on Tiananmen Square. And then there's paper. A sweet sorghum is great for making ethanol, but what is very important for China also, it has hundreds of paper mills that have shut down because they cannot get cellulose anywhere in the world. So cellulose being the second byproduct from the fiber of the stem, and it, in this, just in, in Canada, it's being sold right now at $80 a ton. Just that can give us a, a new, can give China a new wind in making its own paper for its own use. All this uh, technology has been proven by the company Cascades that this fiber can be used in the manufacture of paper. Yep, we went to talk to the paper people, thinking surely they would have done this before if they knew how much money they could save. And the answer is yes. They would have, but they didn't. But indeed they are now. Their results showed that they could use 30% less wood. We've been actually working with the sweet sorghum since uh, 2003. So it's been now three years and we're continuing to... Uh... Their results showed that they could use 30% less wood by using the sorghum pulp. If a type of plant can be used for a, a premium application and then we can use the residue for paper making then it's a good uh, it's a good alternative and finally the cherry or grain on top just when you thought this stuff could do no more it can actually supply very wholesome food to animals or bread for that matter in developing countries where it's much easier and cleaner to grow sweet sorghum than sugar cane and needs much less water which is another big advantage with the sorghum, uh, sorghum, uh, I mean, the whole plant was fed here to the animals. So they had the grain and the plant. Or else, if you don't have the right ratio between fat and protein in the milk, you get paid less for your milk. Farmers are struggling these days, and these amazing seeds and the ethanol aquahol markets they could sell to literally could mean the difference of surviving or not surviving to thousands of farmers. And finally, there's the energy business itself. Energy plants all over America which burn different materials to generate electricity and are another set of perfect Tectane partners for those energy plants that aren't so keen on going nuclear, which is probably their only other option to stay competitive. We can't have anything too dry or too wet. Waste wood is very dry, so we cannot burn it just on its own. It, right. gets, it burns too hot. Right. So our whole tree chips range anywhere from 35 to 45 
percent moisture on the norm. Uh, we do have the point being, sorghum chips are a perfect cheap alternative to replace the moist wood the plant needs. Another aspect that our process brings in terms of efficiency of operation, reducing costs, is the, co the opportunity for cogeneration in producing the ethanol, which is basically using the byproducts. Of the, the big kicker is that the energy plant itself loses 30% of its energy through heat loss. By capturing this heat and using it to power an ethanol or aquahol plant, Tectane's cooperative cogeneration system could save both systems big money and help the state to resist the allure of nuclear power and its famous friend, nuclear waste. Okay, we're going to stop traveling for a minute and hear the pitch. By having the injector installed as many cars as possible, even with gasoline engines, you could have a substantial saving immediately. Time is of the essence. We can start tomorrow. And we can be implemented and running within a year. Yep, that's big talk. But I have to say, I saw and heard a lot of convincing stuff, and it is pretty amazing, and there is no time to waste. Still, we decided to relax and enjoy Montreal for a moment, being careful not to pollute too much ourselves. And I tried to wrap my head around the big picture, and Tectane's plan for the world, and solo technology for developing countries. Uh, developing ethanol, and on the ancillary businesses, and when that all comes together, you have Aquahol, and uh, I mean, it's, it's a pretty dazzling combination of technologies and systems. In our case, what we've done is made an alternative to global automation. What's happening in the world right now is that we've become so sophisticated with technology, but we're eliminating employment, especially in developing countries, because of automation. An average plant today in a developed country that's a hundred million dollars does not require more than 20 or 30 people. This is automation at its best. It's, it's wonderful in the sense of technology, but the disadvantage for all the developing countries, it's not providing any employment versus our company is doing it in reverse. We're taking the opportunity to give the people in the developing countries employment on what we call solo technology, so that we're creating huge, massive employment opportunities. I know you're thinking that's all well and good, but how does all this connect to the financial markets, which are not known for their charity and benevolence? Does Tectane's approach fit in and hold up from the point of view of the energy markets and the brokers who are trying to pick the next big winner in the energy sweepstakes? We found the guy to tell us, the man at the top. And I mean, the top. If there was a guy above this guy, he probably got blown off. Can you tell us uh, what this company is and what your position is? Okay, I'm a portfolio manager. I'm with uh, Montrose Co. Bolton over the last 16 years. And I look around the world for investment for my client with a large team of analysts and other portfolio managers. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. I'd like to join the club. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> How much has investment here um, gone towards energy over the last five years? About two and a half, three years ago, the energy sector account for, let's say, 10, 12 percent of the overall, overall index. Balance of, yeah, investment. Now is ranking number one at 31 percent, more or less. Now, 31 percent of the, of all, the overall, overall index. index is energy. No wonder why the Canadian stock market outperformed any other market, uh, the is major uh, in over the last three and a half years. Part of this whole show is dealing with these tectane technologies. If ethanol, large scale, ethanol is the most powerful trend towards the big alternative, mm -hmm. and any technology that really refines, so to speak, the, the, the system of making ethanol faster, cheaper, safer, less yeah. polluting is a very powerful place to concentrate, I would think, well, yeah. investment and, and energy. That, oh, so yeah, that will come, and that become obvious at one point. You know, this is, as I mentioned, one will do it, the second one will do it, and you just need to have one or two to really start it, and the rest will have to follow.